Hello, welcome to Anita the Pedagogue channel. Today we want to look at a short story analysis. The title of this story is Sosu and the Bukhari Boys and it was written by Lawrence Damani. Let's set the ball rolling. So today we will look at a bit about the author, the title, the setting of the story, the point of view, the plot analysis, characterization, literary devices, themes, and some likely examination questions. So let's begin with the author. Lawrence Damani is a Ghanaian novelist, poet, and publisher. His first novel, Grief Child, won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize as the best first book from Africa in 1992. He also writes devotional articles for Our Daily Bread, which touches the lives of many Christians worldwide. He fellowships with the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. He is the editor of Step Magazine and CEO of Step Publishers. He is married and has two daughters, and they live in Accra, Ghana. Let's move on and look at the title. The title Sosu and the Bukhari Boys is a title that suggests the story is going to be about a person called Sosu and in this case Sosu is a young boy or student and his friends because we see Bukhari boys so probably his friends. Now let's look at the setting of the story. So the story is set in the house of the main character, Sosu, and also in his school, the Eden School. The period based on the subject matter, and the subject matter here is about the monies that are given to children for school, the stipends. This is due to the issue of students showing discontentment with stipends they receive from their parents for school. And we are sure that it has a Ghanaian setting because there is a mention of few cities and cities is the currency of Ghana. Let's move on and look at the point of view. So the story is written in the third person narrative point of view. And we are able to know that because the narrator uses a lot of third-person pronouns, that is the use of he, she, they, throughout the story, which enables us to identify the point of view. So here it is not the, a character in the story narrating, but somebody outside the story. Let's begin with the plot analysis now. The story begins with the exposition where there is an introduction of the characters. Sosu is a member of the Bukhari boys in Eden School. He was expected to come with enough money to show off at the school for their midweek show. After receiving a small amount of money as a stipend from his mother, Sosu was very unhappy and he rejected the money until his father intervened by scolding him. I would like you to support this channel by hitting the like button, share with your fellow students, comment on the posts, and I would reply to your comments. Also, subscribe to this channel to get more of these analyses. In the story's rising action, the Bukhari boys meet and their leader, Bukhari, spends a lot of money to buy them fried rice. Sosu couldn't make much contribution. He inquired how Bukhari always got money, and he replied that his mother was generous and gave him all that money. Definitely, this made Sosu angrier with his mom for giving him little money, while his friend Bukhari's mom gave him a lot of money. Even though it was evident that Sosu's family had financial difficulty because his father was jobless, and his mother who was a seller of beads for girls. This job was a menial job. Sosu still expected his parents to give him a lot of money. 
Soso showed his discontent at home when he was asked to pray for his father to get a job and also for the family to obtain money for the rest of his school fees by being reluctant and angry. Mrs. Anko, his mother, explained the family situation to Sosu and his sister Vivian even as she silently prayed to God for this, their situation to improve. The climax of the story sets in when Sosu and his sister Vivian get to school the next day and realize that Bukhari and his father are at an assembly. Bukhari had been stealing his father's money and his father reported him to the authorities. Sosu was scared his friend Bukhari might mention his name as part of those who spent the money when asked. At the assembly grounds, Bukhari was caned for stealing, which also served as a deterrence for the other students. This incident caused Sosu to change and he went home and apologized to his mother for his discontent means. Let's look at the characterization beginning with Sosu. He is the main character of the story. He is a young student at Edin School. He is unhappy with the money his mother gives him for school daily. Due to his dissatisfaction with his stipend, he rejects the money from his mother and demands more money. This attitude he displays is encouraged by a group in his school, which is the Bukhari Boys. They are all December bonds and are known to show off wealth at school during their break. Sosu seemed to fear his father more than his mother, as we see in the story. When he wanted to reject the money his mother gave him, he quickly looked around to see if his father was around and was glad he wasn't. Sosu can also be described as a dynamic character because after he sees the punishment meted out to his friend Bukhari for his dishonesty and for stealing, he feels sorry for his own ingratitude behavior. He tears a new leaf and becomes a content child who respects his parents. So he changed from being an arrogant, discontent child to a content and respectful child by the end of the story. Let's move on to Mr. and Mrs. Anku. So Mr. and Mrs. Anku are the parents of Sosu and his sister Vivian. Mr. Anku was jobless and looking for a job while Mrs. Anku was a trader who sold beads and bangles for girls. The family had financial challenges because Mr. Anku was not working. This resulted in the family facing challenges of poverty, including the low stipend Mrs. Anku had to give to Sosu. Mrs. Anku was a calm and caring mother to her children. She spent time praying for her family. Mr. Anku was a disciplinarian, looking at how he scolded Sosu when he rejected the stipend his mother offered to him. Again, Vivian is the younger sister of Sosu and they both attend Eden School. Mr. Quist Mr. Quist is the mathematics teacher of Sosu. He seemed a man who cared about his students and had good command of the teaching of his subjects. Looking at how Sosu liked the subject mathematics, he definitely can be said to be a good teacher. Bukhari Bukhari is a student of Eden School and the head of the group Bukhari Boys. He was seen as a rich boy. He usually displayed wealth and generosity by buying food for his friends at school. His father revealed that he stole his money for those expeditions even though he lied that the money he spent was obtained from his mother. The headmaster of Eden School punished him severely at the school assembly for stealing and for it to also serve as a deterrent for other students. Sonka Sonka is a student of Eden School and a member of the Bukhari Boys. Abi is a student of Eden School and a member of the Bukhari Boys as well. Mr. Ziblin is the headmaster of Eden School. He is a tall and skinny man. 
He is a disciplinarian and punishes Bukhari severely at the school assembly for stealing his father's money. Let's move on to the literary devices in the story. Simile. So the comparison of two or more ideas using as like or done. Throughout the morning, Sosu's heart was burning with anger. Every lunch break was like Christmas for the Bukhari boys. Bukhari cried like a child. Let's move on to assonance. Assonance is the repetition of consonant sounds in a string of words. Where would he hide his face if he was the one being punished? There is a repetition of the vowel sound E in this expression. Alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the initial consonant sound in words or expression. So Bukhari boys, there is a repetition of the sound B in Bukhari and in boys. There's also the use of imagery. The headmaster stood tall and lanky in front, saying something serious to the whole school. Sosu saw his friend Bukhari standing in front too. His face looked sad. Sosu saw that Bukhari had been crying. So this is an imagery that appeals to the reader's sense of sight. Because you can picture how tall and lanky or skinny the headmaster was and how Sosum must have been standing at the assembly and looking very sad. Hyperbole. It is an extreme exaggeration. So he prayed, but his heart was full of anger. So for your heart to be full of anger is an exaggeration to tell how angry he was. Rhetorical question. A question that doesn't demand an answer. Not even a thank you. At nine, his mates ought to be in class. Why were they still at assembly? Why? What happened? The themes are the central idea of the story. The first thing we will look at is show appreciation and gratitude. Showing gratitude is an attitude that reveals a person is happy with what they are or have received from anyone. Sosu did not show any appreciation for the stipend he received from his mother, but rather asked for more even though he was aware of his family's financial challenges. This caused him to have hatred for his family. Throughout the morning, Sosu's heart was burning with anger. Sosu should have showed gratitude and be content rather than entertaining feelings of anger. Again, peer pressure can have adverse effects. Teenagers are mainly influenced by their friends. Anytime the influence is not favorable, it can lead to their destruction. In the story, the Bukhari Boys was a group that influenced its members negatively to come to school with a lot of money to spend lavishly. This caused Bukhari to steal from his father and Sosu also disrespected his mother and showed he was not content with what his parents gave him. The next theme I would like us to look at is wrong words will not go unpunished. People who are not law abiding and do wrong things usually suffer for their wrongdoings. Mr. Ziblin punished Bukhari for stealing his father's money. People should endeavor to do the right thing always. This brings us to the end of our analysis of the story Sosu and the Bukhari Boys. Let's look at some likely examination questions. Describe three characters from the story. Mention and explain two themes of the story. Identify any five literary devices in the story. What did Mrs. Uncle do anytime she felt sad? Why did Sosu reject his mother's stipend offered to him initially? 
What role did peer pressure play in resulting to the punishments of Bukhari? Describe the Bukhari boys. I hope this lesson was useful. Put in your comments and questions and I'll respond to you. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Until I come your way again, keep learning and be the best version of yourself.